Hi fans, welcome to this week's questions. Obviously it was a, a very good win versus a quality opposition up at uh, the SCG. I don't think we'd won up there for 10 to 12 years or something along those lines. And you know, to our credit, I must admit at half time, it wasn't looking great. Uh, but our leaders and our players certainly stood up and, and managed to get the game on our terms after half time. It, it's funny, we had a really bad patch in the, in the second quarter where uh, one, we couldn't offensively score, but secondary, they were cutting through us quite easily, especially through the middle of the ground. So we rectified a few things at half time, uh, changed a couple of things up and managed to get the result we were after, which was a, a significant win in our, our year thus far. So let's go to the questions this week. Uh, the first one's about Milesy. I thought he had his best game. In what areas has he improved? Uh, we also thought he was outstanding. His, um, his contested ball, as uh, Milesy says himself, is his one wood. He's very good at that. Uh, his ability to win the ball and then probably to distribute to a teammate is, is elite. What we really enjoyed on the weekend, we've seen just a couple of examples here, is his ability to hit a target inside 50. Um, Milesy's, for a player that is elite by hands, he's also a very adequate kick, especially for a short target. He very rarely misses a kick inside 50, so the more we can get Milesy uh, shooting that ball inside 50 is a good result for us. The other thing he can do really well is he can manage to um, to, to cool down an opponent that's that's on a hot streak. So at various stages he would have gone to Hanabry or these type of players to make sure we get, or Parker for example in that, that contest there, just to make sure we can nullify their influence on the game. And you know, even though we had a number of players step up in the second half, I thought his contribution was really even throughout. Uh, he had a number of clearances, contested ball numbers are really high and his ability to hit targets uh, was significant that he kicked one of the winning goals at the end of the game. So he's probably had his best game for the year. We're looking forward to him backing up uh, against his old side this week in, in GWS. Uh, contested balls, we kicked 7-5 in the third, primarily through kicking winning contested ball. What did I say to the guys? Yeah, it was quite... It was quite funny. It was um, most people think that the fire and brimstone speech comes out at, at half time, and there was a little bit of that. But it was more about just sticking to what we know. Like uh, the easy answer for a coach generally at those sort of junctures where you're down 30 points at a hostile environment is to throw the magnets around and try a few things. But we spoke to the players about listen, let's just reset. Uh, we felt we actually in the first quarter were playing okay. Second quarter we didn't have a great period, obviously, but. Third quarter, we just reset and got our game back on track uh, from that point of view. So there's probably a lot of it can be put down to our, our leaders and, and better players standing up and playing to the, to the level that we knew. Uh, we didn't have a lot of contributors in the first half that, that played consistently for, for that period. Um, but then it's no coincidence that your better players stand up and you start to get the result we're after. And, you know, we often speak about each of our players having a moment or a defining moment in a game. And, to their credit, I reckon every player stood up at, at various stages. You know, Nick Vlosten was fantastic across halfback. Alec, Alex Rance got on top of Buddy. Uh, you know, and Jack probably you know was a difference in the end with his you know ball use uh, through the goals. So we're impressed with the, the leaders to stand up, and you know it's a no coincidence that when they do, we play well. Final question: Our bookend in Alex and Jack were a big reason why we won. It seemed like Jack was playing closer to goals. Is this something we'll continue? Uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, look, Jack did have a, a really good day. Uh, there's no doubt when he, when he played closer to goal, he did get a couple more shots on goal, but Jack plays his best footy when he plays up the ground and works back. Uh, his ability to outwork his opposition. You know, Ted Richards is a quality defender that feels close, uh, feels good close to goals. So uh, the idea with Ted is to probably take him a little bit further up the ground and beat him on the way back. You know, Jack has got elite agility. Uh, he can turn players around. He's very smart with his leads. If you watch him, it's worth just watching Jack for five to ten minutes in a game just to see how, how well he can do that. And Alex, we thought, was outstanding. I thought Buddy probably was on top early. Uh, their ball use was very clean through the middle, so very hard to defend. But from our point of view, the amount of one-on-one -on -one contests, I think he had 12 possession gains on the night. The amount of times that you know, he saved us from a critical one-on-one -on -one win or the ability to move the ball out of defensive 50 was, was crucial in the night. And there's no coincidence that he holds their best player down to uh, two goals and our full forward kick six that we win the game. So both those players are very important as, uh, as were a number of others. So it was a great win. Uh, GWS this week, they're a, they're a side that is on the same win loss record as us. So we're looking forward to that challenge. We've got them at home. Record crowd is 23,000. So we're looking to get 40 this week. So 
We've got 70,000 members, so let's get your ticket out and use it this week. 40,000 people are looking to come through the gates to, to cheer us on. Um, it's going to be a tough, tough, a tough game because they can move the ball really quickly. So we'll uh, have to be on guard, have to be really physical and, and play some good, good brand of footy to get this game over the line for us. But uh, 40,000 people to the game will certainly help. So let's make sure we get there. Saturday afternoon footy, nothing better. Uh, make sure we come by the win. Okay, see you next week.